So I just executed the code and I showed you how till the counter becomes 3, you are able to see the value inside loop printed. The moment it becomes 3, the inside else is printed. That's why you find 4 statements very clearly printed here. Now moving on, we also understood break and continue as part of the while. So what does the break statement do for you? How does it work? I'm assuming that n carries a value of 5 here. While n is greater than 0 and n minus equal to 1, that is incrementally I'm reducing the value 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 because n minus equal to 1 means n equal to n minus 1. The moment n equals 2, break the code. Till that becomes 2, you're going to execute that while loop. And keep printing n continuously till n becomes 2. And then you say loop ended. Now let's see how this gets executed. You will understand the output very clearly. So n is equal to 5. While n is greater than 0, it's getting printed. So 5 minus 1, 4 has come in. And then the print uh, statement is used. So 4 is printed across here. Then now again back to the loop. 3 is uh, coming out now. 4 minus 1, 3 is printed. Now again back to the loop. 3 is reduced by 1, it becomes 2. Now the if condition becomes active because n is equal to 2 now. So the loop is broken now. The loop is broken and it comes out, thereby the loop is ended. So I hope you have understood how the break statement works. Now continue. Continue is another powerful statement when it comes to while loop. n is equal to 5, while n is greater than 0. I have just taken the similar example n minus equal to 1, if n equal to equal to 2, continue. Instead of break, I am just using continue here. Now let's see how this works out. Is it going to break and come out? Because you saw the output when I used break. Now I am using continue. How do you think this code will be executed? So now what has happened is, it has just skipped that particular iteration when n has become 2. So it has become 4, 3 and it skipped when n has become 2 and then it has come down to 1, 0 and finally loop ended. Clear difference isn't it? Break and continue are two different important statements that you can use within the while loop. I hope you have understood through this particular hands on exercise how you can use for, nested for and the break continue in while loop. Please try this by yourself again, trying different pieces of code, execute things and so on. Then you will be able to learn this concept in a better way. I'll see you again in the next section and let's learn more about Python. Thank you.